what's going on ladies? It is like lovey dovey cuffing season. Everybody has a boo right now. So today I want to drop a couple tips slash red flags you should look out for when looking for a guy. If you're out on a date or you've been dating a guy and he can't believe that you like picked him, that you actually like him or have feelings for him. You actually chose to go on a date with me. It's awesome. I never really thought you liked guys like me. You know, but like to find out that you're into me, like that wows me. You know, oh my god, I'm like I got goosebumps like right now talking about it. like my nipples are hard a little bit. But you know, I'm just I'm just so excited and I'm happy. I'm sweating a little. Sorry, a little nervous. But I'm just like like wow, you actually picked to go on a date with me. Like, what do you see in me? Like, cause I don't really even see much in me. But like, you see a little bit of enough to like want to go out with me. Like, <laughs> so what now? Like, we're like soulmates. Stay away from that guy. If you're talking to a guy and he won't let you meet any of his friends, like his guy friends, his close friends. You want to meet my friends? No, that probably wouldn't be like a good idea. You know, they loud. And you know how black people get, you know what I'm saying? Pat they weave. You know, they don't want, you don't want to be around that kind of stuff. Let's do something. Let's go to a movie or something. Or maybe go on a, like a walk on the beach. You know? No, we're not. Oh, you, oh yeah. They're going to be at the club tonight. I don't. Let's not do that because they're going to be there. Let's do our thing, you know? I, I see them all the time anyway. They're losers. I don't even know why I hang with him. Stay away from that guy. If he's obsessed with his mother, like over the edge, got a tattoo of his mom name on his neck, and is doing too much. I love my mom. And we do cool things like make brownies and we cook together. And she raised me ever since I was negative nine months. That's because I was like in her stomach and stuff, chilling. But she's like so great. We share the same room, but we like sleep in the same bed too. But it's like head, like defeat, you know, like old school sleepover buddies type of stuff. She's so awesome. You know, one day she's going to move in with us and we're going to have a family. It's going to be awesome together. I can't wait. She still breastfeeds me. Stay away from that guy. If he puts work before everything, not only you, but before his family, his friends, his loved ones, all of that craziness. Oh, you want to go to the movies? I got to do that stuff in my main job, get my little time sheets in. After that's all squared away, we probably can go to the movies. Nah, because then I got my second job. I can't do that. I can't do because I got to be at work early. And then I got all of that paperwork to do, all of those files to go through. And then my boss been tripping lately. Maybe we, we we could probably go to the movies or do something maybe like next year. Early next year. It, text me. I, oh, we live together? But text me anyway. Stay away from that guy. If he hates his job and is completely miserable, I can't do this no more. I hate my job, man. The people at my work are so stupid. Like, I hate every, I can't live, I can't do this no more, man. The people, all they do is want to talk mess all day, gossip on each other. The, the boss sleeping with everybody in the place. He tried to hit on me, I only gave it up one time. But still, I don't like, I can't live like this, man. I know I complain about my job every day, and I ain't doing nothing, but this, this dang, I don't like being here. But I gotta, you know what, I, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back work tomorrow, and I'm gonna come home, I'm gonna complain about this again to you. So just be, have your ears open. All right, love, you love me? Love you too, but. Stay away from that guy. Now y'all might look at this and see a couple funny parts. Oh my God, he's so funny. This is serious. I bring you some jokes, but I tell you some real deal stuff. Please take this into consideration and think about this. Some of us guys, you just gotta take a step back and let them go. It's kind of cliche, but it's plenty of fish in the sea. Even if you've never been fishing. Put like some little pieces of corn on the hook and throw that joint out there. Something gonna bite. A roach, a fish, might catch a lace front. Good luck, happy holidays to everybody. I love y'all. If you enjoyed the vid, like it, comment, add it to your favorite, share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr, and all that crazy stuff. If you wanna see more videos like this, thumbs it up and show it love. Leave a comment and let me know what you want me to talk about next. Bye.